This is an example application called Customer Updates Their Own Records. So let's talk about the use case here. You've got a lot of customers. Uh, frequently, you need to update their mailing address, their phone numbers, and whatnot. So how do you get that done except by asking the customers themselves? But they're not users in your QuickBase application. So how do you send them an email, get them to open their email, press a button, update their information, and have QuickBase update the original data? And that is exactly what we're trying to do here. We've got an, app, an example application here, and here's the diagram of what we've got. We've got a customer table here, and we have a, an updates table. Now, whenever you're using something called the anonymous user, everyone on the internet, you never want them to edit a record. You only want them to update a record. So if you can send them a copy of what they know, and when they press the button, it updates this record, or actually adds this record, we're going to leverage two different technologies to bring this back and update the original record. So in essence, the customer has updated their own information. We're going to use QuickBase Actions, and we're going to use a QuickBase Webhook. So let's go take a look at what this is. So at the get-go, you want to be able to um, narrow down the users that you're going to send emails to. So I guess I could go um, in and change every single record. Say you've got thousands of these uh, records. I only have about eight of, them, eight of them here. We can trigger an email notification that's listening for this. And we've got an email notification here. And if you open up this and, and look in here, it says whenever the customer record is modified, uh, there's a field called last email sent. And if that has any change to it, meaning we can update that field, then I want it to send off an email with the, with the uh, uh, header here for subject. And down below here, look, there is something called an update data button. And we'll take a peek at that in just a second. So that email, how do we get the record to do this? Well, we could individually edit each one. Come down here to uh, the last email sent right down here and put today's in here. And let's change this just so that there's a physical change to this. And so let's say, I don't know, five, something, something like this. And we'll say AM. Okay, and when I click on save, that email notification wakes up and fires off this email notification to Kirk Tracy at, at quickbase.com. So that email would fire off. The same thing would happen down here. Now that's a pretty physical thing to do. Uh, we've got an individual uh, button here. Let's click on this one. That, in essence, did the same thing. The uh, last email sent, and you can see 1121. Now I've just received an email, and here it is right here. So now what we've got is a form that says, has your company information changed? Please update this. And if I hover over this button, we'll see there's a whole bunch of information that's been passed over into the button that allows us to be able to, or a customer to be able to press the button, which takes us to a form. And notice the form is filled out. That's because the button itself had all this information stored inside it. Now we can update this instead of 6700 third, uh, let's say it's uh, 59, um, I'm picking something, let's say Hampton, New Hampshire. And, and the number here, just so we're visibly seeing that there's a change, I'm going to say 6666 there. Did I do that one right? Yes. And let's say the it's a referral instead. And I'm going to submit this. And so the customer has not logged in, their information has created a child record now let's uh, let's go back to where we um, where we started from here and what we see is um, we'll look at this record uh, you can see here that it's 6666 and that we're in Hampton New Hampshire now so it updated the original information so before we talk about how it updated the information, I want to go down further to this button right here. Uh, we're tracking. There is a, a parent-child relationship. We're sending an email to a customer. They get this button here. And if I right-click and edit the field properties, you can see that I'm already staging into the button 
When you get there, when you press that button, take what we know about company contact title and fill it in for field six, seven, and eight of that child table. Remember, we're just adding records. We're not editing records. And uh, so that, and in that way, it's going to fill out the form for convenience and then, of course, can edit the information and then save it. So uh, that, that button is very uh, powerful. It is also using style so that it shows up in the email. If you recall the, the email, this usually would have been neutralized into a, uh, uh, an underscored hyperlink. So what we want to do is keep uh, the style going. So we used uh, a CSS and there's some information in here on uh, how you can craft yours as well. Um, you can see that I've played with this and I've updated it over time as I've been testing and playing with this thing. And it updates and keeps a history of all those changes, but the, the originating person does not have to be a QuickBase user. Now let's talk about what happens when they add a record like this one, customer updates. Down below here is the last one we use, so let's view this one. So there's the information. It was uh, updated. Now notice we've got surrounding headers, which you did not have from the customer's version. They can't log in to QuickBase because they don't have a QuickBase user account. But let's look at the two different ways that you can update the original record. The first one I put together was with webhooks. And this one is a very powerful functionality. It uses and requires you to have a little bit more technical skill to make this happen. Uh, it says when the record is uh, added, I want you to go to this record, which is the original parent record, and do an XML post when edit the record. And what are you going to do when you get there? Well, um, when you get there, make sure that you go to record ID. Remember, this was in the button, so it understood who it, who it came from. Fill out the uh, field six with the company information, field seven with contact, eight with title, and so on, all the way down to collect all the information uh, that has changed. So that's a uh, webhook, and you can set that up to uh, be triggered off a record creation. The other option, and you might find this simpler to, to use, and this was recently added, was QuickBase Actions. So it's very similar, and this one says whenever a record is added, edit the related records. Now, what related records? We're in a child. We don't have any, we, don't, we didn't have a report link that says which things are related. So we created a report link in the child that says, match me with anything from my parent. Well, I've only got one parent here. So, uh, but it allows me then to use that original report or customer report link so that I can fill in the values, company to company, contact to contact, and I'm just matching back any related records which happen to be my parent, but that's okay. So whether you like to uh, use webhooks or if you want to uh, leverage the uh, use of QuickBase Actions, Actions is uh, the easier of the two and doesn't require any technical skill to make that happen. Uh, I think probably one thing I probably would want to show you is what did I do about that report link and why? Because when you first try to do this, you're not going to find the ability to edit the original record. So I added this report link and I said pretty much that I'm in the child right here. So I'm in the child. There's a reference field called related customer. Take the value that I'm putting into that field, match it to the parent table the original customer record. So it's going to provide that ability for us to know which record to update when we update our original record. So that is ABC customer updates their own records and uh, a handy way of being able to use everyone on the internet to be able to add a record which updates an original.